All right, hello. Um, I'm just going to show a little, um, a little video here of a sound post setter that I, I made out of frustration of trying to get sound posts into violins. I have an amateur um, violin fiddle restorer, and um, have fun doing it. Um, but um, I am not a trained professional. Anyways. This little rig here is a uh, five millimeter uh, brass tubing I picked up on Amazon. It's about, I think they, it's, it's about a foot long. Um, I put this arch on it. I filled it full of uh, this fine sand, capped the end with some tape, and then heated it up and got the radius on it. Uh, there's no measurements. I just sort of into the F hole and over to um, the, the side where I want to set the, set the, uh, the post. Um, this, this post setter is going in from the, let's see, I'm going in from, uh, the G side on the F holes and I'm pushing it over. So it's going to be pushed into here on, onto the E side. A lot of the most setters are going in on the E side. This one, I just found it easier to push in. Um, so as you can see, I've got a sound post, uh, cut and ready to go i just popped it out of this one so it'll just fall into place hopefully um and by the way this this is just a piece of copper strapping um, that i've that I, uh, I i welded or sorry uh soldered onto the end excuse my bad soldering soldered on the ends um of this tube with a hole in it and the hole is to draw some a piece of dental floss through waxed dental floss if you haven't got any, you probably need some. Go get some. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll just show you how that's going to work. Hang on a second. So that's an E-string. An E-string uh, I put uh, off a mandolin that I threaded through this, through the rod here. And then what I do is I'm going to hoop that uh, floss onto that, uh, onto that loop there on the E-string. One moment. So the floss is pulled through. And I can get rid of that E string. It's done its job. I'll set it aside for the next fiddle. So the loop of floss goes around that uh, pre cut um, sound post. And as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap that around my fingers and tighten it up, keep it taut while I, while I get it inside the fiddle. Um, these rigs go for, I don't know, $75, $80. You can pick them up something similar that, that installs on the on the E side uh, F hole. Um, anyways, I just, uh, this is going to cost me all of about 10 bucks. I think the floss cost more. All right, so I got a good firm grip, as you can see, the floss all wrapped around my fingers here and it's tight around the uh, that guy and as you can see i've got it angled it's all pre-cut ready to uh, pop into place all right hang tight all right like i said i'm going in from the g side of the f hole so we'll find that spot i'll wiggle it around in here and as you can see maybe you can see i can you can see me coming through there's floss there i'll get that set and then i'll get back so I got the sound posts in place and I've let the tension off the, the floss and so I'll just uh, carefully get this guy out of here as you can see there we go that's tools gone and just grab one end of that floss and uh, give it a yank I didn't hear the post fall over but anyways it's still standing there so um, anybody who's worked on one of these in the past um, has uh, the little tools, little knockers to knock it around and whatever. So once you get the bridge on and, you know, you can play around with it there and get it exactly where you want it. Um, but anyway, there's another tool to, uh, to help with uh, getting the sound post set. All right, good luck. That's pretty straightforward to make there. So have a great day.